Good morning and welcome to our unique lunchtime devotion this wonderful Sunday. As the sun is shining and as the day has just gotten started, how wonderful it is to worship our Lord and stay in the Word throughout the day. Our devotion today is entitled, Keep Praying, and it's based on Romans 8, verse 28. And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. So, what have you been praying for these days? For God to keep you and your loved ones from getting coronavirus? For God to end the threat of the virus so that people don't get sick or die from it anymore? And so you can stop losing income and pay your bills? Those prayers are appropriate because God invites us to pray. He says, call upon me in the day of trouble and I will deliver you in Psalm 50. But in the Lord's Prayer, Jesus also taught us to pray, your will be done. Why would you pray your will be done in these days when you are stressed about your future or of that of those you love? Because God has promised to bring good out of your suffering. The Apostle Paul reminds us of this in Romans 8 verse 28 when he says, And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. What good could God bring out of the uncertainty and anxiety caused by this virus? He could be reminding you that you need him so that you rely more on him and less on yourself for the things of this world. That would be good. He could be showing you that the that things you assume will always be there, your health, your job, your income, your lifestyle, and yet they can be gone in a flash. So you don't build your life on such unreliable things, but instead on him. This would also be good. He could be helping you think or rethink your priorities, so you think more about what matters. Your relationship with God, being there for your loved ones, helping the needy and the hurting, that would be good too. Maybe it would be good to pray for God to open your eyes to all the good that he can work through these present hardships and the sufferings they may bring to you, because that is his specialty. Through the worst suffering possible, his son suffering at the cross for your sins, he achieved your greatest good, your eternal salvation. So, keep praying your will be done with confidence that he will keep working good for you in these difficult times. Let us pray. Lord, even as I ask you to protect my loved ones from me during this difficult time, I also pray that your will be done. Help me to trust that your will is always best for me. Amen. God's greatest blessings to you. Enjoy this beautiful day. Get outside. Walk around. Take a walk. Do whatever you can to enjoy the sunshine. And then tonight, before you go to bed, tune in again as we seek comfort from the Word of God. God's blessings to you.